All right, what's up, guys? We have the Wuxi Signature Event Finals, right, taking in place in China, and this is the Finals 3, so it's the last one. Taking a look at these autos, pretty standard, right? However, we don't see a lot of out of ring rushes out of out of the teams from China so far, right? We see them, you know, kind of kind of uh, sliding over on both sides, trying to collect those rings on the negative side, right? So I think maybe that could be if that remains the case for Worlds, then then they might be at a disadvantage to, compared to the North American teams who have ring rushes, right? Because it's so easy to completely get your auto and it if you're just running that, right? However, down here. Let's uh, go back, rewind a little bit, and watch that red Auton. That red Auton is super, super good. Ending up f with a full goal, right? This one has two rings on it, I think. So, really good starting position with them. However, Blue did, did end up with the, those three goals. It isn't going to matter, though, because Red has that top stake either way. So, I think this, will, this auto will still go to Red. And we're going to see we're gonna see Red probably you know, try to dash in and try to get those that third goal control, right? They're gonna just, you know, play play like this, right? Try to get through right away. While uh, while it's Blue's goal to stop them, right? So they're gonna need to come here and uh, play that play that screen, right? It's a little bit too far for red team to, you know, go through here, right? I think if you're starting like here, then you can go through. Let's see what happens, right? That's exactly what we see with the red team dashing in all the way. And they're gonna be able to take their positive corner, right? So now, now all, they, all they really do is just stay here, right? If they stay there, or even even this position is fine, right? Because as long as blue is faced inwards, that that goal isn't isn't scored. So, right. And while while that's happening, the other blue alliance is up there scoring scoring the top or scoring that top wall stake, right? So this is very very good uh, strategy out of the blue blue team here. As we speak, they're being able to take that red goal away. And now now they do a quick swap. So now both of them are going to need to play a negative corner for the rest of the match. Now, so what I was saying earlier was that this blue alliance scoring up this. This top the this top wall stake here allows them to have that have that early advantage on that on that wall stake. So now later on in the match, if red wants to score on it, it's much easier for blue to defend that. However, blue isn't really gonna do much here and let red fill up that completely. So now it's completely filled with two red rings, right? That's two red rings up there. So they need to hit a D score. And D scoring is not super easy. And we're gonna see uh, I think that's blue team try to do that. Oh, they just I think they just did both at once. Right, super impressive. Although that's a minor violation for that outside the, outside the the field, right. Still though, we can see them play play zone defense out of those positive or out of those negative corners now, and you see them leaving their goal actually. So you know, this is a little, a little unsafe, right? From leaving, I would, I would hold on. To, I mean, actually, arguably, here let me pause it real quick. Arguably, I feel like if you were to leave your goal, it'd be better, right? Because. Uh, because if you have your goal, then other, the other team can just run in there with, with another goal and just sit there, right? But if you, if you don't have your goal, if the goal is left in here, they have to go in there without a goal, right? So, I don't know. I think uh, still, though, it's quite risky to come out of that corner. Either way. But, in, I mean, this in this case, right, they were able to get it back in time, right? If they have a good drive team and they're looking out for what they're supposed to, look, supposed to be looking out for, then it's uh, not a big problem. And we're going to see both both teams get a negative corner, right? This match, you know, quite a lot of hangs. Wow. Some great defense out of the out of the blue alliance here at the end. Quickly, quickly stopping that red team from going to hit that hang, right? However, I still think red's going to be taking this win here, right, with auto. And the I mean, this goal isn't fully filled. Close match, but I think red... Takes the win, yeah. The two top stakes, yeah.